Coach will start with a comment, then we'll take some questions. Let me know if you have any, and we'll get to the mic. How's everybody okay? Good. Thanks. Well, it was good to be out there practicing again. Uh, it seemed like it came up quickly. It didn't seem that long ago that we were having bowl practice, but uh, as a coach, you know, the thing that you always enjoy most is teaching players, and practice is the best time to do that. Spring practice is an opportunity to you know, sort of establish a standard of excellence for your team, uh, individually and collectively for, you know, there's a standard. Each guy's at a certain place relative to being the best player that he can be, and, you know, we're trying to sort of create a framework as coaches and the guidelines as coaches to help those guys develop and become the best players that they can be, and hopefully they not only take ownership for what they have to do, but also for the people around them and the people on their unit so that we can build some team chemistry, uh, have the kind of leadership that we need uh, to you know, maybe develop uh, into the kind of competitive team that we need to be to uh, have the success that we're probably capable of having. Um, to address Mark Barron, uh, and this is all I want to say about this, you know, Mark Barron used poor judgment in sort of protecting his friend, his cousin, his relative, whatever you want to say, rather than cooperating with authorities uh, and giving them the information they needed to investigate their case. Uh, we always think our players should respect uh, people uh, that are in a position of authority, especially the police who do a lot to protect all of us in terms of what they do. Uh, and I think Mark uh, learned that he did not use good judgment you know, in this case, and not saying what he could have said that would have helped the police. Um, Robbie Green was not at practice today because he is suspended for violation of team rules and policies for right now, uh, and we'll see where that takes us down the road, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, any other discipline that's going to be handled with either one of these players will be handled internally and will not be talked about you know, publicly. Uh, how about me the one to ask the quarterback's question? What do you hope to see from those guys this spring in terms of whether it's leadership, good decision making in practice, all that sort of thing? What do you? You, you just mentioned it all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, first of all, you want to see guys show command in terms of their ability to manage the game, that they have control of the huddle and the other people relative to their confidence in terms of what they're doing and how the other people around them sort of believe uh, in that position on our team. I think that is critical. Uh, so that that's one thing. That's kind of a part of leadership, uh, but it's also a part of being able to execute, being knowledgeable in terms of what the expectation is of doing your job and the standard that you can do it to. And I think that develops confidence in the people around you. Uh, I also think that it's important that everybody around those guys understand that it's hard to play quarterback if everybody else is not doing what they're supposed to do. So it becomes more difficult to make good decisions and, and judgments if guys around are not doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, so the team chemistry, and everybody has to take ownership for it, every individual to do their job, uh, but also all the other leaders on the team sort of buying into what they have to do to uh, make sure that we're getting the kind of execution as a unit that will allow the quarterbacks a better opportunity to have success, which will build confidence. Um, but decision-making and judgment, psychological disposition toward uh, taking what the defense gives you rather than trying to make big plays and forcing plays and trying to make plays uh, which is sometimes the mentality of good players. Uh, I see it in the NCAA tournament. I watch a few of those games, and a guy's supposed to be a good player. All of a sudden, he comes down and forces two shots that he has no business taking, and it hurts his team, only because he feels like, I don't have any points, and I'm supposed to have lots of points. So I'm going to go take a shot now no matter what. All right, so quarterback thinks that I haven't thrown any touchdown passes, so I'm going to throw one. Well, I'm trying to throw one. You throw it to the other guy a couple of times, and that's poor psychological disposition toward being successful. Take what the defense gives you 
and that's how we'll move the ball and be successful, and that's how we'll function best as a team. When big plays are available, you take them. But you can't create them and make them when they're not there. And that's, you know, that's, we've had some teaching moments around here relative to all that. Um, <laughs> you know, AJ wanted to try a fake field goal one time in one of the games last year after that incident in Mississippi State game. So he says in practice, he said, when are we going to run this? And I, he says, it's a touchdown if we run it. And I said, okay, first time we get in field goal range in this game, we're calling it. But if it doesn't work, it's your butt. <laughs> so don't come to the side room. He threw his hands up and he says, Look, I don't want to be the lead story on Sports Center with you again. <laughs> that was the end of that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Coach. Grace, where you had that field to lose the break? No, it was great. So, uh, the Michigan State game, I didn't know it. You know, I talked to Jesse, talked to the about it. You know, they were, you know, they were good. You know, they were good out there. And, uh, you know, so I saw you at the uh, basketball game a couple of weeks ago, months ago, whatever it was. You're hanging out with D. Hart. What's your relationship like with him? Just talk about him as a, a guy, player, whatever. Well, I have no um, relationship with D. Hart, man. I mean, he's just like me and Martin. I mean, I came in. I mean, because he's the youngest dude in the group right now. And so I got to make sure that he's on top of all his game. And, you know, I don't want him to fall back behind because of something that I didn't teach him. Like, or something that he didn't know because, you know, I knew that you know, I was being selfish. I don't want him to be that type of person. So, Greg, I mean, uh, Rough Church or Terry Grant, Mark, or uh, Mitch, they never did me like that either. So, I mean, can't be selfish. I can't do anything. Just out and just the difference there with the new position coach. Um, yeah, he's, he's, you know, he's obviously a younger guy. He's uh, very intense. You know, today was our first real you know pre-practice meeting and you know he was he was yelling the whole time and you know we all we all learned a lot and we enjoyed it um certainly uh as we get to know him better and have more practices with him we'll we'll get to know better what the differences are but um you know, every coach can have a different style of how they're going to go about doing things and uh you know i, I think it's you also all we were doing a little bit different stuff in the individual period you know, different drills and stuff like that so he'll uh he's going to be a little different but we're looking forward to, to learning from him and getting better